Hello, welcome back to HGL Tech Electric. In this video we are going to be talking about Reversing the direction of rotation of a three-phase motor There are some differences in the symbols used to represent electrical components around the world. The two main standards are NEMA and IEC. We are going to use NEMA symbols in this video to represent electrical components. The direction of rotation of any three-phase motor can be reversed by swapping any two power leads. We will use two separate contactors and an overload relay to selectively energize the three-phase motor. That seems simple, however if accidentally both contactors are energized at the same time, that would be a big problem. That should never happen because it would be shorting out two of the lines. Here we have the control circuit, there is a pair of contactors electrically interlocked. So both cannot be energized at same time. Therefore, now if the motor is running forward and an operator accidentally presses the reverse button, the short circuit is avoided. Pressing the stop button resets the system and the operator can now run the motor in the opposite direction. By pressing the reverse button, now, in this case, the normally closed auxiliary contact R that is connected in series with coil F, is open. Preventing a short circuit from occurring if an operator accidentally presses the forward button. A mechanical interlock has also been added. The electrical interlock prevents both coils from being energized at the same time. However, it does not prevent physical movement of the contactor moving contacts. When the movable contacts of the energized contactor pull down one side of the mechanical interlock, the other side gets locked up. Should the circuit have both types of interlocks? Well, in certain regions of the world. Electrical authorities request the use of both. They are inexpensive and easy to install. Remember safety first, do both. 